Oh, hi there. I didn't know I was recording. No, I'm kidding. I didn't know. Um, hello everybody. This is Cruise Iron Fit Six Awesomeness here, and today I'm gonna be showing you a cool uh, data pack to show you it for 1.13.2. It is a portal gun. Uh, basically a portal gun mod, just using commands. So this is um, every item that's here for now, and there will be more coming probably soon. I'm not too sure on that, but we'll just see. Um, so the first things I'm going to go over is how to make it. Um, I'm just going to kind of start right away. Um, there's nothing in here. I'm just kind of put this. But um, to craft a portal gun. Now, actually, this is this you don't get. So um, you'll need redstone dust, diamond, and a pearl, and nether star. And you get both of these portal guns. And what's the point of that? Well, hang on. Let me... I'll actually show you. Now, to use this, you'll actually have to drop every item, kind of like uh, in Portagon Command Creations. And so, this is what you get. Now, you don't get the item picker, and that's me. That's mostly for maps only. So, um, it's kind of pointless at that part of it. So, I'm just gonna get rid of these in that chest. So, there's a lot you can do with the portal gun, indeed. So, um. I'm gonna destroy these items and there's actually some commands now if I hit the slash function not all caps um, function and there's all these commands um, type in help and then the colon and then you can hit help again or you can hit give and this gives you every portal gun that there is. Now there's three item pickers and item pickers. So I'm gonna get rid of probably, yeah. So the normal portal gun, what the hell does it do? Well, shoots portals. It's not obvious, if, unless if you haven't played portal, well, which I did and I still do because it's fun. I adore Portal in Minecraft. I think it's really, really amazing. I feel like it should be in the game without any mods required, but it happened in Terraria, but not this game. <laughs> so, you got two portals. You can shoot one, and then the switch. Um, you right click to shoot a portal, and then you switch guns and do it again. And now you have both portals. And you can also shoot, like, way over there, so. And there's also one up there, which I'll kind of show you. I did that later. So you kind of have to shoot on the top second block of every row, every other row, starting at the uh, on the top of two blocks. So it'd be this one, not the lower one, because it won't work. So if I shoot the top two, or somewhere in the middle, it'll work. Now you can also shoot on the floor. And here's the cool part: it doesn't need alignment which is freaking amazing and I just thought that was cool and you go in one portal you come out the other portal really cool stuff so yeah that's that portals the, that that's what those portals look like right next to each other and there's also portal spawners which I'll talk about later um, the Atlas portal gun that is just the same exact function if I can shoot. Oh, that's why. Okay. So. I think a zombie tried to kill me. Um, s function. Help. And then go to settings. Didn't really prepare for this. But um, if you go here, it shows you all the settings. And I'm going to turn on the co-op portal guns. And now I can shoot them. Okay. So this is light blue and purple. And there's also an item picker for Atlas. And for Peabody, there is yellow and red, which also doesn't make a difference. I'm trying to get make as much room as I possibly can. And there we go. There's all six portals. Really, really good stuff, you guys. So, and this is also another thing. It these by combined makes this one the, these combined make this one I thought that was interesting I don't know if that was intentional or not but it's something so yeah all portals do work 
and except when you're not in the blocks. So I'm going to break all these portals now because I don't need them. Except for these, I will keep these ones out. So yeah, that's the portal gun on its main function, as you can tell. And there's also non-portable surface, and that is obsidian. Now, you can change this into the, uh, you can change this in the function file so that it's different, but for now, it's obsidian, and I think it's probably makes the most sense. So yeah, you cannot shoot there whatsoever. So, I think that's nice. Um, you can also shoot very high. You can also shoot on roofs. If it lets me. There we go. So, yeah, you can also shoot on roofs. You can shoot on floors. Which doesn't seem to render me inside the portal for some reason. I think I broke it. <laughs> okay. I seriously think I broke it. Um, so if I go through here, there it goes. Okay, and then I fall. So, really cool stuff. For some reason, I cannot, I cannot, shoot, I cannot go through this portal, which is strange. There's also ghosting as a feature as well, so you can kind of see that as well. And when you look at it, you'll see it, but it's, that, it's kind of buggy right now. At least for me, anyway. But, uh, you can shoot on any surface, except for obsidian. Okay, so the next thing is the item picker, and that's only to pick up cubes. So you right-click on the block with the, with the cube on top. Oh, I got it. Okay. So, yeah, this is how you pick up cubes. And if I hit F5 real quick, it doesn't look that great right now at the moment but it does look great in this view there's also doors so if I do let go which is going to be impossible there we go and then it opens the door so yeah again there's also really cool features to this and you can also do it with these doors so there's portal 1 and portal 2 of everything pretty much so yeah um the cubes there's uh again the cubes uh there's four dispensers for the cubes there's a regular for both portal one and two and it seems like this one's broken for some reason but i'm sure it'll be fine so when i press the button it dispenses all the cubes it's it's that simple guys very simple so I'm gonna not worry about this right now because I just I just started a video. And so yeah, you can pick up cubes. Um, you can't throw them around. You can't push them while you're not holding it. And that's about it for those. And they can be destroyed by enemies and patient grids, which I will talk about later. Next thing is the buttons and doors. You already saw this, but you can actually step on these, which is actually kind of cool. And they do make sound. This button's exact same, it's just without the logo, and it's the Portal 2 button, so it does make a difference. And the doors. This is... If you throw items inside, it does not work. And I will show you the difference between these. So yeah, it does make a difference. Just to keep in mind. And you can go through them. Once the door is shut, you cannot go through them. So, yeah, they're actual doors. They actually work. This one takes a little bit longer to open, but it still does work, just like Portal 2. Uh, the next thing is the emancipation grids. I want to go over this real quick. So, I do have two separate ones. One's Portal 1, which is the one below it, which is the one below. And the Portal 2 emancipation grid is this one, which kind of looks cool. But, um, other than that, while you're holding the portal gun, if you go through the emancipation grid, it does get rid of the portals. So, that's another testament that's kind of needed in mind. There's also another bug, 
which I kind of discovered into this, but if I look through it, it doesn't seem to show the portals except for this one, which is really odd. So um, I think that's also a bug or maybe it's just the textures, I'm not too sure. But other than that, it's really dandy. So you can go through them and it gets rid of the portals. And also, just like in Portal 2, when, or just like in both Portal games, throw in here and then it destroys itself. And it does spawn another one, which is cool. Okay, so we got two more things to cover, actually three more things. And then that will be the momentum. So there's also settings to this where you can create your own momentum in this. So you can hop on down. It's actually set off right now. Okay, so I'm going to try to fix this. It seems to get stuck a lot. Um. Okay, so there are settings to this, and that is this right here. So. There's portal velocity, there's portal method, and this is to make it realistic and all that stuff. There's also portal sounds. Now you can change this, and it completely changes the sounds of the portals. As you can see, it changes all the sounds, just the different types of sounds with the portals. So that's how that works. Um, so if I was to go stupid high with this, and I just fall. It doesn't seem to... I want to reload this real quick. Okay. There we go. Okay, so... Speedy thing goes in. Speedy thing comes right back out. So that is a thing in this data pack. So you jump. And it does a lot. Now the deny the deny <laughs> the dynamic and static teleportations uh, are actually different. The dynamic one is more realistic. The static one just kind of does it how it would be done with just normal commands, and it just makes it hard to move. So the static one, if I just like, it would be just looking forward the entire time when you're flying across the map. So yeah, it does make it a big does make it a bit. Uh, it does make a big difference. I'm sorry, I can't speak today. But you can also do a floor-to-floor -floor momentum, which is kind of cool. If I can. Okay, I guess you, uh, you, I was able to right now, but it just doesn't, doesn't seem to work. Okay, but other than that, I'm gonna clear my portals out real quick. Okay, and then uh, I'll cut that off real quick. Okay, so the next thing is the uh, portal spawners. Um, flip the switch and I turn on the portals. Now, this is the portal one spawner. It looks like this, and this is the portal two one. So the second one, kind of a slight delay, and you can still shoot, still shoot portals with this. And if you wanted to, you could just use a single color gun, and that's kind of why they're separate, just to make it a little bit easier for you. So if I switch it, it automatically switches to portals, so that's cool. And the final thing is the cameras. I did not expect these to be in here, actually. So they these do watch you, but they just do that for no reason. If I shoot a portal at it, maybe if it works, like that, it does, it does switch them out, and yeah, and you can also pick these up with, you can also pick these up with the item picker, which is kind of cool. And kind of, but yeah, 
and these can go through the portals, but yeah. If you wanted to, again, you can craft this. So you can have mobs go through these, and there's also settings. So there's on, off, okay. So co-op portal guns is off. Portal using is for everything now, including the entities. So let's kind of take a look at that, shall we? Um, the first thing is, if I actually, okay, so slash function help colon give up. Okay, so we got all of them, and again, Alice and Peabody's portal guns work the exact same way, so it doesn't really matter too much how you do that. So I'm going to shoot a portal there, one right there, and the mob will fall right through the portal, which is cool. And then I can also do this again, so. and it does fall. So that's really cool. And if I wanted to, I can also have, I think I can have these go through. No, it seems that I can't. Well, that's okay. That's fine. But yeah, cubes can also go through here. Which is cool. I think. Whoa. So yeah. This also does momentum. Which is dope. So yeah, that's another thing. Um, I'm gonna shoot the portal again, and then I'll pick up this cube, just for the sake of it. And I'm actually kind of curious. I don't know if you can... So yeah, cubes also have momentum, just like you. That's pretty sick. So... Would I use this in Minecraft Survival? Hell yeah, I definitely would. Um, it's really cool. I think I think it's really cool. Um, I might figure out how to just make the these portal guns, and then maybe the Alice and Peabody ones as well, just because uh, I don't think the map maker items would be necessary for me. I mean. Literally, all I'm going to do is just mess around with this over and over again. So, I think it's going to be pretty powerful once you get, once you're able to get it in your hands. And, unlike the mod, it does have durability. Um, the, the one the mod has durability, this has infinite durability. Which is, um, something to, which is also something. So, you can just kind of mess around with this as well. Oh, infinite loop. Oh boy. <laughs> so yeah, realistic. So yeah, it does quite a lot. And, oh, there it goes. It works. Okay. So another thing to show you real quick is that you can do momentums on the floor just like this. And there is a maximum value, and you do slowly lose your momentum as well. So, there you guys have it. That is the uh, Portal 2 mod. The Portal Gun mod data pack thingy made by Light Sir Minecraft. So, it's really cool. I, again, I really wish I had it. Uh, I kind of wish it was turned into a whole separate mod for this game for 1.16. I just think it'd be super dope. Um, other than that, uh, it's really, again, I'm mind blown. <laughs> Seriously. So I'm going to switch my portals real quick. I'm 
to stop my portal gun. Where? Where's my portal gun? I just made it disappear all of a sudden. Wow. Okay. Um. So yeah, it works. Oh yeah. Also go through. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys liked it, please just subscribe to my channel. Like on down below if you like about this video. And stay tuned to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Stop recording.